Here is Gaia Nachetumian on the line with her video of a day in the life of how it's different being an Armenian student versus any other kind of student out there. Extremely, like, obviously sarcastic, just like the Trump presidency and how it was complete bullshit. For eight years, he acted like a child in front of an audience and nobody said a peep. Unexcusable, especially when it's raining galaxies. Now, what does Guyana have to do with this video? The point was... Back to the future video. He said, well, where the hell are they? Just like the young lady in the My Big Fat Armenian Fat or the UCLA students video said, the Armenians have gone. Where are they? I wonder where they're at. Was it like an AI wonderland or is it like an advance towards mankind? Sounds like an advance towards mankind. So when I'm standing here saying WSAPHG with my dad with Armenian power on my shoulder when I'm a kid on the piano with his arm crossed at the beginning of the fucking video with the number four with the hat right there and the boom, boom, boom and I, A, A, X, Y, and Z. Is it more of like an advance towards mankind like saying like, hey, like Johnny Five Robot Galaxy Bon Mon? You bitch believe someone's going to have a pair of balls for me to fucking smell today, yesterday, more, yesterday, more. Where are they? No, the, and the real question is, when are they? That sounds like intergalactic timing and hospitability between us and a neighboring civilization because there is enough data to produce the reality of a neighboring civilization that dances in direct um, coercion and, and symphony with mankind who would be affected by our failures, who are rooting for us, who are alive and biological, who are witnessing the complete disintegration of, of the most novel divine thing to ever happen to the imagination of mankind in real time in a video with me and my dad, very styly, very serious. This isn't a movie. I'd rather talk about galaxies and make babies happy. Sevak would rather I never look stupid again than us making movies about galaxies and babies and never look stupid and never looking stupid again ever. And how we have a lot of friends and a lot of leaders of the world that's going to shove Ukraine down your throat. Where have the Armenians gone? Bye bye. Or hello. Let's stay. Let's stick on topic. Let's not get arrested here tonight. What is the topic? The topic was when are they something beneficial to the governments of mankind? Eh. <gasps> something beneficial to mankind, period. A correlation and an adhesion to the reality of intergalactic zoning laws. An establishment of the pursuit of intergalactic zoning laws yesterday. Because I said it a week ago. Intergalactic zoning laws is just the most imperative and the most uh, important thing to mankind. A psychic can't be lost and ignored at the pursuit of the responsibility of establishing intergalactic zoning laws and maintaining a solid, healthy contact with our neighborhood and living out the potentials and the realities of our manhoods and womanhoods for future generations because that is the bestowed reality we are presented with with proper functionalities, proper landings, proper imperative speech, proper uh, personnel to tell the other personnel, boom, motherfucker, you're in our world. The proper personnel to say, afford me the sympathy I require 
afford me the sympathy I desire and that I need for the pursuit of intergalactic zoning laws to affect the human psychology and understanding forever. Afford it to me. Sevak said, never look stupid at TV. I said, afford me the passion I desire yesterday.